Welcome back to Western Michigan University. Jason Grant here. Joining me for the second half is my former teammate and friend, Adriano Dubrow. Uh, we are 0 0 here at halftime between your Western Michigan University Broncos and the Illinois State Redbirds. What are the keys to, this, to the second half for the Broncos here, Dana? Well, looking forward here for the Broncos, I think uh, one of the most important things for them to start the second half is the tempo. Uh, we saw them end that, that first half with a high tempo, with a lot of pressure, uh, creating some chances moving forward. And I think the key here is to stay patient for the Broncos. Uh, I'm sure Nate Norman gave him a, a long talk at halftime about being patient, waiting for that goal to come. And uh, hopefully we'll see it happen here in the early stages. Yeah, the keys are not panic for them at this point, and, and they shouldn't. There's 45 minutes left here. Um, they, they did control that first half, not really any clear-cut chances for either for either side, but the, the Broncos seem, seem to us to have a bit more of the possession, um, which they usually do under Nate Norman. But but moving forward, I, I, th I think the, the key is to, to don't don't press the panic button quite yet. Young challenges for the Broncos. Good ball in there down the right side for Illinois State. Well defended by the Broncos. And I think that's one of the keys here in the second half of the Broncos is to uh, make sure that they don't get caught. Uh, out of sorts, uh, out of shape, you know, moving forward so quickly, uh, it's easy to come out of your shape. And I think the, one of the keys moving forward is to maintain that shape. And as I, you know, continue harping on, it's just to stay patient and uh, wait for that, wait for that chance to come. They're going to get chances. They're going to create chances. And you know, hopefully, as I said, they can put one away. A bit shaky here to start for the Broncos. It's kind of starting like the first half did, a little sloppy, um, a lot of challenges in the midfield, not not too much possession for either side. Illinois State controls on the left side, well defended by the Broncos, into Gina Maddie for the challenge. And it squeaks through for Illinois State. Down the left-hand side, the Broncos look to double in the corner. Well defended, and, and the Broncos win, win a uh, free kick. Well done there uh, by the Broncos, double down in that corner, and make sure that uh, Illinois State wasn't able to get the ball into the box. Bronco keeper looking to go along here with the free kick. Good service here from the Bronco goalkeeper. Into Heather Picarello, who flicks it forward. Maddie controls for the Broncos, looks to win it. A little sloppy in the midfield again, like I said. And Illinois State is really trying to move that ball over the top of the Bronco defense and create one of those offhand chances, something that's just going to come and Hopefully have a guy, run, uh, uh, female run onto it and, and put it into the back of the net. Looks like the Redbirds started, started this half without Richards up front, who I thought uh, who I thought was one of the better players in the first half for them. The Broncos did well to defend her. Um, that's an interesting, interesting start. Maybe they'll bring her in for a little spark off the bench. The Broncos want to throw in here on the near side. Looks like they're going to try and work the ball down the line here. They do just that, but it's intercepted by Illinois State. Illinois State's had a little, better, little bit better play here in the second half so far. Yeah, and they're moving forward here with an opportunity at the top of the box. It's number 18 for Illinois State. Well defended by Lacey Zahn for the Broncos. Very well done to keep her outside there and not let that ball into the box. Illinois State wins a throw-in. Back up to the left side, defended by the Broncos. A little half ball into the box. Dealt with by Megan Ross for the Broncos. Irene Young looks to challenge. And I think uh, another important key here is really to weather this 5-10 minute storm that, uh, that the Broncos are going to feel here from Illinois State. Uh, coming off of a, a shaky end of that first half, uh, I'm sure the coach had something to say and I'm sure that he was really keen on them coming out and uh, having a good start to the second half. So if the Broncos can weather this storm, I think the game will find itself. Uh, moving forward. Yeah, and when you have more possession um, against a team like this, um, those five-minute periods will come and go. You know, the, the Illinois State uh, team here is going to keep pushing, keep pushing through it, and, the, and those five-minute stretches will happen for the Broncos. you just got to find your way through it, and then, then the game will come back to you. Yep, I completely agree with that. Throw in here for Illinois State. Alumni, alumni weekend is in full force here. We we're just downstairs catching up with a few of the few of the old teammates. Some of the the alumni girls team are here as well. Um, it, it's always a good turnout, and we're gonna have a good time tonight. Play some golf tomorrow. Um, it's it's good catching up with all all the old teammates. Always nice to see the guys come back to town, and it's uh, it's a great tradition that uh, Coach Wiseman has started to build, and, and Coach Norman have started to build uh, with the Bronco program. 
uh, in order to make it, uh, you know, a very important weekend for this program and uh, continue to create a culture and a tradition that uh, continues to bring everybody back each year. And that's what college sports is about, is that, is that culture, that tradition. Um, and, and we're starting to see that take shape here with the Broncos soccer programs. I completely agree. The women have been successful the last few years. They won a MAC, a MAC title a couple of years ago. The, the men's team is consistently in the in the MAC tournament. They're they're five and zero right now. This women's team started off well again this year. Um, so we're looking to have a good year out of both out of both programs. And you're really starting to see uh, the two programs get more attention nationally. Uh, last week, the uh, the men's program was fortunate enough to reach a top 25 ranking for the first time in program history. Um, and, and this women's team, as you said, you know, with the MAC championship uh, only a couple years ago now, and one uh, in the one in the first round game in the NCAA. Yeah, upsetting well. upsetting a great team uh, during that game as well. So, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a culture that's starting to build and a tradition that uh, will come about. Well defended by the Broncos there, and they look to clear. Olivia Vollmer is chasing down for the Broncos, looking to force it back. Really good pressure there. Let's see if we can spark the Bronco attack. Tried to spring it out wide here. Well defended by the Redbirds in the end. And that's something that Illinois State's going to have to be, be sure that they're on their toes there when those Broncos are pressuring their, their backs. Uh, you know, an easier ball there is, is definitely back to the keeper. Um, but, you know, they dealt with it uh, all right in that situation, and, and, and nothing nothing's harmed. Megan Ross wins for the Broncos, gives it right back to the Redbirds. They look to spring their forward forward. Piccarillo for the Broncos. Zahn wins it. Tackled by Ross, and it squeaks out here to the near side. A little push in the back there from the Illinois State forward. Looks like it could have been called a foul, in my opinion. Looks like one of the Illinois State players might be shaken up on the far side there. Looks like just a little knock she's going to carry Yeah, I on. think the training staff is going to stay on the sideline for this one. Good ball into there to Irene Young. She's done well so far. She's held up the ball well for the Broncos. Um, I think the key for her is to play simple. She needs to get it into her feet and lay it right back to those midfielders that can spring the attack. Yeah, I completely agree. She's done a great job holding the ball up for the Broncos, and they should continue to look for it here in the second half. 38 minutes remaining here in the second half. Still a scoreless tie between the Illinois State Redbirds and the Western Michigan Broncos. Megan Ross will throw for the Broncos in toward Young. She flicks on. Volmers looks to hold it up. Picarello challenges, does well. Here's that high pressure from the Broncos. Let's see if we can spark something for him. Picarello, unlucky there. Picarello has provided a good spark here for the Broncos uh, in the first and second half. Uh, she's come in and she's been a, a threat in the midfield. She's been uh, getting into the spaces and, and you know creating opportunities for her teammates to see her and get her the ball. So hopefully they can continue to see her in the middle of the field and, and work something through her. I agree. She always brings energy no matter yep. what. Ross challenges. Redbirds win it. She looks to turn. Good tackle from Piccarillo. As you said before, we have seen better play uh, from the Redbirds the second half. Here they come. As the Broncos move forward. Here comes Emma Conn on the left of the Broncos. Former is looking to run through. Emma Conn with a good ball into Gina Matty. Oh, let's escape Skates through. through. Oh, good move. Good ball across. Oh, yeah. And the Broncos. Olivia Volmers. 37 minutes here left in the second half. Great job by Olivia Volmers there to really be patient with her run and, and find that open space in the middle of the field. Yeah, that, and that all sparked sparked once again from that from that high pressure. The Broncos, Emma Khan moving forward at pace, which she's done all year. She's been the Broncos' best player. Springs it in out wide. Gina Matty flipped it on, and a good ball back in across the box the to Bron Olivia Volmer. The Broncos did a home. great job, really skating off that pressure in the first five ten minutes of the second half, and uh, were able to to counter Illinois State and, and find themselves a goal. That's Volmer's second goal this year. And that's all it takes for, for the Broncos to get going forward is just that one little bit of spark, that one 50-50 that one ball in the midfield, and they spring it forward. And that's something that Nate has uh, harped about this year is, is really getting on that counter attack quickly and, and taking advantage of, of the openings uh, against their opponents.
Redbirds looking to spring right back on the left hand side. Defended by a couple of Broncos. Goes up for a goal kick. Ball with the play back across and just squeaks out for a goal kick for your Broncos. These next five minutes will also be important for the Broncos. Uh, you know, there's an old saying that uh, five minutes after a goal is uh, when another one's going to come. So they got to make sure that they're tight in the back and, you know, hopefully look for another one here in the next five minutes. Yeah, that's also important. Not only keeping tight in the back, but looking forward to getting yourself a second one because yeah. the, the team that concedes is usually a little bit flustered, a little yeah. out of sorts. That's your chance to pounce. State maintains possession. Bombers looks a challenge again for the Broncos. Forces it backwards. Here comes Khan. Good bit of pressure from the Broncos. Forces it to go out wide. Great pressure there shown by the Broncos once again. Good turn there on the right side. Looking to get to the end line. Plays in a good ball across. Into the middle. Emma Khan. And the Illinois State Redbird keeper does well again. She, she's been really good on crosses today so far. She's not going to let it, let anything cheap in. For us, for our Broncos. Khan looks to hold up for the Broncos. Well defended by Illinois State. Khan busts through. Here comes Walmers again. Good, really on good horse pressure. Second well half done. here. Great job to hold up possession for the Broncos and Piccarello again in the middle. That was a good ch ch change of uh, point of attack there for the Broncos. That was much quicker than they've been doing. Now it's Lacey's on, who's always dangerous on the right side. Slotting a ball into the corner. And here comes a cross again for the Broncos, but it's out for an Illinois State goal kick. So many great changes to this facility over the last couple of years. Uh, Jay, how, uh, how has it changed in comparison to when you started playing here, and, and what are some of your favorite changes? Well, well looking around, when I started, it, it was a completely different complex as far as the, um, the conditions of the field itself. Are completely different. They they completely tore it up um, a couple of years ago and, and put in a new drainage system, new sod. Uh, so the surface is, surface itself is completely different. Um, along with these, we've got new goals recently, uh, new fences around, um, a new press box put in this summer, which we're using uh, greatly today. Um, some some new bleachers as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's a completely different completely different atmosphere out here. They they finished a parking lot a couple a couple of years ago. Um, they're working on a new entrance and sign out front. It, it looks like a completely different world out here. And that, and that really goes back to uh, the whole alumni, you know, the, the tradition around this program, and having people want to get back to the program, and it's great to see it coming around full circle. Here's Matt, Matty, pressure for the Broncos. Looking Matty, to win a corner kick. Doing a great job here, not letting the Illinois State defender get that ball out. Well, Illinois State did, did well in the end to win themselves a yeah. throw, and unlucky for the Broncos. First substitution of the second half for Illinois State. Looks like Edwards is off for Richards. This is this is the uh, striker I was talking about for the Redbirds earlier. Four, she looked four, she looked pretty four, good in the first half, four, and um, the Broncos did well to contain her. Let's see if they can do so in the second half as well. You know, the Illinois State coach may have just wanted to get her a, a few minutes of extra rest and uh, get her fresh coming at. Uh, you know, a, a bit of a fatigued uh, Bronco back line. So it might be uh, might end up being a good decision. Good ball in here from Zahn toward Khan. Falls to the foot of Gina Maddy, does well to control it. Good defending in the end by the Redbirds. Unlucky touch there by Gina Maddy. She's was. always dangerous at the top of the box. Here's Richards pressuring for the Redbirds. Does well to win it off nice. the Bronco back line, and here they come. Tried to spring in Richards on the right. Ball defended by Megan Ross. Wins a goal kick for the Redbirds. Great Third job there by Richards. Great job there by Richards. Uh, as you said, Jay, she, she is a very dangerous player. And, uh, she did come off the bench fresh there and, and was able to win a corner for the Redbirds. That scoreboard doesn't quite tell the tale today, does it? Only one shot on goal for either team. Yeah, it's been it's been back and forth, a bit of a, a pinball match of mm -hmm. sorts, especially in the early stages of both halves. Um, but you know, as you said, it, it doesn't tell the tale because there has been some openings on on both ends and. Hopefully uh, this game will kind of tighten up here a little bit and we'll get some more scoring chances. Here's Khan for the Broncos. Great strength there shown by Khan to fight through those tackles. There weren't many Broncos up there to help her though either on the counter. No, there wasn't. Good ball in there to Richards again. She did well to hold it up. She did. 
And here she comes, starting to have a chance. The Bronco back line. Good ball inside. Yep. 